Hello? Today I'm gonna be doing a warlord that um, nobody really knows about. Well, I guess people um, don't really play this one because um, he's unpopular, I guess. His ability isn't the best. He draws a troop for one energy, which is different. Well, it's alright. It's different than most abilities. At least it's one energy instead of two. But this is what's interesting. It's that um, duplicitous troops have plus one. This can be really good. It's kind of annoying that he has low initiative. I don't think he should have that. I think it should at least be medium. But let's say you have um, Caliban's Heart. You can use this as a two attack, like five times flank troops. So it's going to be, you can clear a board with this just because of the ability. So it can be very useful. Here's the deck real quick. I'll go over it. I got Draining Sight twice. Because I've noticed that I do have some like high energy things that I want to be putting in place soon. Strategic Mastery once. I don't think I need it twice. I think that's overkill. This one definitely twice because it's a flank card. You need flank troops. At least like a few in your deck. Which these are the only two I think. Apart from Brand of Fire which is a great troop. Irresistible Charisma. There's no point in not having it. It's a decent legendary. Fischar R obviously behind enemy lines once because you can clear a board with this. It's kind of overpowered. Caliban's heart twice because other than being a really good card, blessing of the four. You've probably heard of this already, but if you haven't, every time one of your troops dies, it's um minus one cost, and you can give every troop on the board free chaos marks, which is overpowered as fuck. And since this is defenders of Caliban. You're going to be having loads of troops on the board and they're going to be dying loads. And then, for example, you can just use Caliban's Heart and then you can use this while it's very low. And then you've basically won the game. I only have it once because the thing with this card is it needs to be in your hand for this effect to work. If it's in your deck, it doesn't matter if your troops die, it won't work. But, um, I have this one as well. I just think it's a pretty cool frontline troop. I mean, I have it more in here for the memes, to be honest. It's not, like, that useful, but might as well. You always need this card twice when you run any Defenders of Caliban deck. I had this one because um might as well have another 6 energy troop. Something to put on the board. This one to protect your other troops and its ability is pretty cool. So, like, imagine putting this in play at 4 energy... Then boom, you're at 5 energy, you use its ability, and then you use Aspirants of the Order for 5 energy, and then you have 3 Aspirants on the board. It's pretty cool. Uh, these two cards twice, obviously, and one Anti-Stealth. Uh, it's a troop which is cool. I don't have Informant Network because you don't need it really. This guy, this guy definitely, because you can deal loads of damage. But that's about it. I'll look, I'll like, overview the deck again, of course, at the end of the video. But um, I would also like to say that um, if you play Lufa, you deserve to die. I mean, I've played Lufa, obviously, just to see what he's all about. And honestly, he is overpowered as fuck. I hate his ability. He needs to be nerfed. His ability is way too overpowered. Like, especially seeing as, like, you can damage troops with Caliban Jaegers, then just steal it. Something needs to be done to its ability. Like, 5 health to steal a troop is just, like, way too high. It should be, like, fucking 2 health or something. It shouldn't be fucking... I don't know. Maybe the ability just needs to be changed altogether. And the fact of, like, how easy it is to get the ability... Like, if you, put, if you play Caliban's Heart, you've just, like, instantly gone down so much in cost. And if you do it twice, then boom, you have it. Oh, it's just a fucking retarded warlord. Like, honestly. If you play the warlord, you need to, like, fucking lash yourself a hundred times. That's that's what anyone who plays that warlord deserves, to be honest. I'm going to show you some games. I think I have some pretty good ones. I do have a lot, but we'll start with um, Alpha Legion because they're annoying as fuck. Right, Sheed Ranko is notorious for being one of the most autistic Alpha Legion warlords. Calm extends from 
he used to be really annoying. Before his nerf, he was fucking insane. One never expects what's hidden in Even now, he's sight. annoying as fuck. So this will be a pretty satisfying game. I think it was kind of close as well. It's always very good to start the game with um, Caliban Jaegers. Because that's very useful. Oh, and just for the record, in these first games, I had Ravage City instead of... Uh, Drilling site, but I decided to change it later. I just don't think you need card draw when you have um, this ability. Yeah, this is very bad for me. Because he can just consistently clear my board with his ability. Honestly, I swear defenders of Caliban are like hard countered by absolutely every fucking faction. At least it feels like that when I play them. And then when I'm against them, they're annoying as fuck. But especially now that world eaters are a thing. You literally can't go against, like, World Eaters as this faction. It's impossible. Well, I mean, it's doable. It's not impossible, but it's exceptionally hard. It's good now that I have Aspirant, well, Blessing of the Four, and Aspirant, I guess. This is an odd card to use, to be honest. I don't see any Alpha Legion player using this card. I think it's because it only has 4 health, it's just not that, like, great. Considering how much energy is it? 5. Oh, it's only 5, it's not that bad. But I never see anyone using it, I don't use it either. I also think that ability, that uh, legendary card, the, um, the spear is kind of useless as well. I mean, it works with that um, card where you can shuffle your hand back into your deck and draw cards. I've seen that done before. But I just don't think it's that good. Yeah, and this is why you have strategic mastery. Because, like, he can't use um, the Harrowing because he's at 8 energy. So he can't remove it, and uh, he's basically finished now. I don't know, he's blessing. And he's done. Alright, just do that. Either way works. The counter attack is very weird. Because it only works on troops that have free attack or less. But because of the Sargo's ability to give um, troops with duplicitous plus one attack. The counter attack just doesn't work on like any like flank troop or anything. It's really annoying. I think the counter attack needs to be changed. So it works on like cards with four attack instead. That would be good. But this was a very interesting game as well against Space Wolves. It was very annoying because this guy was getting really lucky. He was just drawing all of the cards he needed. The Tempest beckons. Plus the fact that Space Wolves have loads of flanks. Yeah, I got that one. So I could just put local uprising in play.
Honestly, I was at a massive disadvantage this game because of um, Space Wolf flank troops and the fact that they have ward, so I can't use the uh, Caliban ability on them. It was just very bad for me. Luckily, I had Blessing in my hand. Like, you know what? Quote me on this. I think this card's going to be nerfed. Because I've seen everyone using it lately. Like, loads of people have been using it. And it's just way too good. Like, if you pop it off with a full board, you've won. There's nothing... Like, unless someone has, um... Fucking, um... The Great Tie for a card like that. There's nothing they can do. I just think that card's going to be nerfed. Straight up. If ever kill, kill, like, cares enough. Of course. I mean, the devs don't usually really do anything about things that need to be nerfed. But, I think Blessing of the Four is a bit too powerful. My personal opinion. Maybe like, um, two Chaos Marks instead of three would be more fair. But yeah, this was really bad for me because you can just keep putting them in play. And his mission was um, very close at hand. I can't remember how I won this, so it'll be interesting to see what I do. Right, okay. Yeah, Brand of Fire is really good. Always have Brand of Fire twice, I think. Now I have Caliban's Heart. Very good card. Also just want to say that the reason I haven't been making any videos recently is because I was on holiday but now that I'm back I will be able to upload again. Yeah and I got Caliban's heart for zero. I mean blessing of the four for zero. Maybe this card would be more balanced if um, it only counted if your tr if your troops died in your turn instead of just like anywhere, because it just seems kind of unfair. Yeah, and I'll decide to use it. But yeah, like, tell me what you think about that. Uh, Blessing of the Four only goes down if the troops die in your turn. I think it'd be more balanced that way. Either that or two Chaos Marks instead of three. Did he top deck this? I wasn't paying attention, I swear he did. Like, as I was saying, he was just getting everything he needed. This ends up being like a very long game because he just keeps getting things to counter what I'm doing. Luckily with Defenders of Caliban, you can just keep putting troops in play again and again. It doesn't matter how many times they destroy the troops. You'll just keep getting more. They're very durable that way.
Unfortunately, he's low on cards. And I've been able to destroy everything he's put in play. And luckily, I have more cards, more troops. Yeah, I'm able to put these two in play. That's great. It's because of my ability. It's just really good. It is a pretty decent ability, especially at one energy, to be honest. And that is a beefy troop. There are probably different ways to do that, now that I think about it, but whatever. And I don't attack because I want troops on the board. And he gets another flank card. I remember I was getting very pissed off in the game. Because I just wanted to end it at this point. And here I use Charisma. reason this card is so good is because you can deal damage and destroy the troop. If you're smart about it. Yeah, and this was great for him. Fucking hell. With Space Wolves, there's just so many flank troops. This was a terrible matchup for me, to be honest. Yeah, the fact that this troop gets flank when you destroy one with its rally ability is just amazing. Honestly, you should have used that first so he got flank from it. Would have saved him taking 7 damage. This is where the meme card actually like comes in handy. Honestly, I was probably panicking here. This game was a while back, but like I, I can't see how I get myself out of this. Oh, there we go. And now you can watch as um, the Sargo's um, passive ability actually works really well with um, Heart of Caliban. Because you can use them as like normal troops. Just attack as well as just use the ability. And now he's going to have to be forced to react to this. And he's lost. There is no hope for you. And I am up. Because of how much time he made me spend to beat him. It was really annoying. I could have also used behind enemy lines, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I could have. Two ways to beat him. That was by far the longest game that I did with this guy, to be honest. It was incredibly annoying for me at the time as well. I remember the frustration. I hate playing long games like that. But now you get to watch me beat a Titan as well. 
also very annoying to go against. Calm extends from within. Titan should not the exist. To terror will be paved with broken words. It's a shame because I like these guys in lore, but this game's just made me hate them. What's so good about this matchup is that I can use my troops to just attack his weapons, and I have loads of troops. So it's going to be constant stuns. And this is when I had Drilling Site instead of um, Ravage City, which is better. See, Titan matches are really boring. But it is satisfying to beat them. I create some um, timestamps anyway, so if these matches are like boring, you can skip them. So it's fine. This was good because it has ordinance too, so I deal 5 damage instead of 3 against weapons. Which is very useful. The reason I do this is because um, I have this guy, and it's going to make my blessing of the 4 go down loads. Yeah. This guy's such a good troop. He should have done that first. Don't know why he didn't. Yeah, at this point he was just feeding my blessing of the fall. Well, fairly lucky there to be honest getting that troop and he's finished that's how overpowered this card is once you do this especially with a full board you've just won nothing your opponent can do it is very overpowered Honestly, showing off overpowered things is fun. Yeah, and he just quits. I've had so many games where my opponent has just quit the game because I've used that and it's kind of funny. What do I have next? Oh, I had Tyler's Robio. I um, made a video on this guy. Let's see how well this guy does against me then. Calm extends from within. I have no region. If he's using my deck, he will win. Otherwise, no. Watch my video on this guy. It's fun. Honestly, this guy is one of the more fun warlords to play as, especially with a mission. Yeah, he gets this guy immediately, which is scary, but luckily I have anti stealth. Which is why this guy is important. And honestly, because I have so many troops, he probably doesn't know which one. Okay, he did. Doesn't matter. I need to build up a board, so that's why I put um, Aspirants instead of Obsidian in play.
And there's blessing of the four. So there's my win condition already. Because that's essentially what it is. Once you get it, you win. So what a username. Like, what a name. Cool Rockstar 34. Amazing. He is a cool rock star. Honestly, he was at a disadvantage in this matchup. Well, I mean, he is playing agents of the Sigilite, so he has overpowered troops anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But his Warlord was at a disadvantage at least, because he couldn't attack my troops. Yep. Just everyone is running this troop nowadays, because it's so fucking good. At this point, I was in trouble, but I have Caliban's heart, so it's all fine. Duplicitous ability is really useful. The one he has where it gives plus one. Because of the amount of flanks you can use. I use Master Ramiel and Blessing. And he's finished. Absolutely nothing he can do. It's just too overpowered. This is exactly why this combo is so good. It's why I wanted to show this guy off to be honest, just so you guys can see this. Why Blessing of the Four is amazing. Should be another satisfying game because of how hated Imperial Fists are. Calm extends from within. I fucking hate them. Not Everyone hates them. Back. No one likes these guys. And especially the sentry turret spam warlords. This one is the worst out of all of them. Capitalizes on the worst part of Imperial Fists, which is the Sentry Turrets. Fortunately, not many people play them, which is good. Yeah, a board wipe doesn't matter because of how many just uh, cards like Aspirant of the Order that this guy has or Obsidian 2 that works as well fortunately he has to take damage which is great any damage is good Caliban Knight is a very good card, especially on Basago, because he gets 4 attack. It's unfortunate that you can't use the counter attack on him though. It's kind of annoying. And he gets lucky there. Like, honestly, Imperial Fist players don't even deserve luck because of what they're playing. But he just gets all the luck.
interesting to see how he will deal with this. I don't remember. More sentry turrets, who would have thought? No way. Yeah, you don't get to be that lucky. So tiring just dealing with the constant sentry turret spam. They never do anything else either. That card's retarded. I hate that removal card. Because it's just like, it's so easy to use with the amount of troops they put in play. Time for aspirant spam. This is how you defeat. Sentry turret spam. Just put in play aspirants. Let's see if he gets lucky again. Holy shit, that was good. Okay, wow. Fortunately, like, defenders of Caliban go under the doctrine of not giving a fuck. It doesn't matter how much troops you take out, they're just gonna put in play more. It's why they're so fun, to be honest. Even if they're not that good, I think defenders of Caliban are really fun to play. Except Luther, he is scum. Anyone who plays him is scum. Way too broken. Yeah, and he's finished at this point. Also, this card is autistic. I fucking hate this one. Need to be deleted. Finished. He actually did loads of damage to me, to be honest. I'm only on 10 health. Another Imperial Fist player has been defeated like they deserve. What else have I been playing as? Camber Diaz, Comrade Hosika, Asago versus Vulcan. This is my last game. And then we'll go into what I think of him. I was trying to make a Night Lord's mission deck to show off, but I just cannot make a good one. I don't think it's possible. I tried the Painted Count and I tried Malkarian, and you just can't win consistently. I just think the mission is that bad that you just can't get it. Like, even when you do get it, it's still useless. I don't know, maybe I'll keep trying, but it, it's painful for sure. Honestly, I always just put aspirants in play first to build up a board. Like now, nah, because I wouldn't have been able to get rid of that if I put this in play. And sneak attack keeps something on the board for me. have a massive board now.
Unfortunately, this doesn't matter because I have Blessing of the Fall. So this helps me, if anything. I'm very close to winning. I think that was an accident. I do not know what he was doing. That was weird. And I've won. And he might as well just give up here. God, it's so long. You have time to contemplate that you've just gotten your ass kicked. Well, that's what makes it such an irritating card. Yeah, and he gives up. So what do I think of this guy? I've never taken this guy into ranked. Never. Probably because just defenders of Caliban, apart from Luther, who's a fucking cunt. But um like these guys just they're not very good. Especially now that World Eaters exist. It's not worth taking them in. But um I've gotten a very good win rate from friendly matches. This is pretty decent. His ability is alright. Um, this deck is good. So if you want to play around with this, go ahead. Uh, and Blessing of the Four is probably going to be nerfed. I'm just going to say that now. You don't need this card because um, of his ability. But you can put it in play if, if you want. If, like I'm not using it. A Knightly Fortress. If you want, sure. But other than that, this is a pretty good deck. Maybe Wardens? Maybe? Um, actually, on second thought, no. Wardens is a good card on Zahariel. Because he puts in play recruits. So, right. But yeah, it's good on Zahariel. But other than that, I wish I could make a video on this. All I'm missing is the, um, the Chaos Mission. And then I can make a video on this guy. But yeah, that's about it. I'm probably going to release some individual videos on just like short games. And then I might start another video. But the tier list video is probably being pushed back because I'm busy at the moment. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Warlord. And if you want to go have fun with him, go ahead. I wouldn't take him into ranks because World Eaters, obviously. But... Hope you've enjoyed, and if this helps you, like, tell me. I'll be pleased to hear it. Bye.